So in this video today, I'm going to be talking to you guys about why it's important to swab your clarinet. Um, first, we'll go over all the different kinds of swabs, and these are just all the ones that I have that I've like got out of cases that I've cleaned. This one, if I can get it undone. So this is just like an ordinary one that you get from a cleaning kit. I honestly don't recommend these. These aren't that good. I don't know what kind of material this is. It's sort of like a felty material. Um, I really don't like these that much because they get caught inside of the clarinet and you're just jerking it and jerking it and you can pull something loose or something. I actually have a lot of these because I've cleaned out a lot of clarinet cases. Here's another one. I think this one is a little bit smaller maybe. No, it's about the same size. It's just folded up differently. Here's another one. My personal favorites are these big ones, these clothy ones. And whenever you pull it through the clarinet, it just goes through so easily because it, it bends easier. And this one's one of my favorite ones. I don't actually know what kind of brand it is. It came with my buffet whenever I bought it off eBay. And it has a little metal piece inside the fabric here. And the one that came with my bacoon, I'm sort of on the borderline of love and hate. It, it gets caught sometimes inside, but I feel like it absorbs the moisture. And this is like, um, sort of like a velvety feeling. And it's Whenever it comes through, it does like this thing. But, um, I use it just because it came with my cocoon. There might be a reason why I have to use that kind. Well, now we'll get to the reason why it's important to swab your clarinet. Um, whenever you play your clarinet, you get spit all through it. And if you've ever noticed, whenever you take it apart, let's say like the barrel part, you take it off and the spit flies everywhere. So, you've probably been playing for a while. And whenever the spit dries up inside of your clarinet, it gets inside of this lip and like the barrels and the every joint has like this little, I, I don't know what it's called, like a lip thing in there. And it gets nasty and I've found someone in the band room that like have orange like gunk all over them from what the person ate that day. It's really nasty and it just dries in there and yummy. No, it's not yummy. And another reason is it gets into the wood of your clarinet, if you have a wood clarinet, and it keeps it moisturized, which is bad in this case. You don't want it moisturized. Um, you want to keep like the humidity on your clarinet as low as possible. And um, also another thing is whenever you let your, your spit sit inside of your clarinet, it gets on your pads. All your pads get the spit on them, and that's why they turn yellow. If you've ever had a yellow pad, you know that's all your spit. And I have a lot of problems with spit coming out of my E flat key and my C sharp key. I feel like that's just where it's going to come out. So it's nice to swab out. Like, even whenever you're in the middle of practice, if you just swab it, that gets rid of the problem. And it makes it dry and nice and clean. And then you'll have a happy clarinet. So the next time you play, it'll be very thankful that it's really dry and nice and not dirty. So for me showing you how to swab out the clarinet, I'm just going to use my bacoon swab and my bacoon clarinet. And um, I don't really know which way is the right way to swab it, if it's from the top to the bottom or from the bottom to the top, but I know my band director says to top to bottom, but all the clarinet cleaning tutorials that I've seen are from bottom to top, so I'm just going to show you guys how to do that. And whenever I swab my clarinet, I put it to where all the keys are facing down, because whenever I pull it out, it's going to be... The, like this weight is going to be on the bottom part so it won't get caught on the register key. If you look inside of the clarinet you can see there's a little notch thing hanging down below your register key and it gets caught on that. So you're going to put your little metal piece, which mine's in a cloth, but there's a metal piece in there. You're going to put that in there. Uh, make sure you don't have your mouthpiece on. Do that separately. And then it'll come out the tip of the barrel. And then you just pull it through. And whenever you do this, it absorbs all the moisture and gets everything out and on this lovely pad. And um, after a while of using a, a swab, you'll need to wash it because they get pretty nasty and they stink. And um, also after you're done swabbing your clarinet, if your swab is like really, really wet from all the spit, don't put it back in your case if you have a wood one because that'll... That will, that will, That'll make the humidity levels higher, and like I said, I'm still not sure about the humidity stuff. I'm not that good at it, but I know you're not supposed to put it in the case. 
So if it's like dripping wet or something like that, just like hang it up somewhere and get it like in an hour or two. But yeah. So I hope this video helped you guys know how to swab out your clarinet and the swabs that you should use or you shouldn't and just knowing what to do and how to take care of your clarinet. <laughs>